嬉しいとか言葉なくし嘆くすべもない。あるはずのぬくもりが突然。I was bewildered. I was impatient. I felt overwhelming disappointment with myself and anger at my own weaknesses. Thanks for worrying about me, and thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. On my first day with class seven, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. But getting to know you two showed me that there are nobles who live up to that name. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Before I came to the academy, I was a Jaeger. But I'm confident Class Seven is the finest Erebonia has to offer. I can't believe it! My very first class trip. We're gonna have the best time. You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about, to leave a life for those who'll come after. So brilliant was my time at the academy that those feelings consumed my every thought, my every waking moment. The time I spent with my classmates was something that, in so many ways, changed me. From the strict yet kind instructors who diligently taught us, to the people we met as we traveled across the country. The time spent with them, my memories of them, were like a truly radiant light, and somewhere. Part of me thought that radiance would continue shining for ages to come, but 
and all it took was a single bullet to bring everything crashing down. Go finish your speech in hell. That bullet sparked a fire which grew and grew before our eyes, evolving into a great flame that smothered our light in an instant. There were no exceptions, be it those seemingly never-ending days or anything else I'd come to treasure. Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! Everything was reduced to ash. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time, he isn't real. He never was. Back then, I still didn't understand. I didn't know the pure bliss that comes from being with others, nor did I know the ache that comes from parting with them. I didn't understand what it meant to truly love someone. All I could do was endure the torment of my own sense of powerlessness and bottle up the feelings I could do nothing about. All while trying desperately to fight against that ever-burning flame. Get here. I feel like I was fighting, and then. Am I dreaming? Of course not. Finally woken up. Uh, you're. And I wish it were, but this is no dream. This is reality. Cold, cruel reality. And you're going to need to hurry up and accept that because you haven't got time to waste. His core's been damaged, which means he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So you're going to need to protect yourself, Ashen Awakener. Awakener? What are you talking about? Wait. What's going on here anyway? What is that thing? Wait, never mind that. What are you? Ugh, knock it off. How am I supposed to answer anything when you keep bombarding me with question after question?
You're a chosen one. Chosen by a fragment of the ancient great power. Great power? That's right. Those fragments were the origin of the great knights that appear in Erebonian legends. At times, they protected people from harm and disaster, while at others, they were the cause of harm and disaster themselves. And the being in front of you is one of them, a divine knight known as the Ashen Knight. The Ashen Knight? Valmar? Wait, I remember when I called him. You got it. You've known that name for a while by now. But he's not the only Divine Knight that's active. The Noble Faction has one under their control, too. That one is known as the Azure Knight, or Dean. Remember? That's the one you fought and lost against. Everyone... Crawl. <sighs> he had me fooled, too. How could I have known that irresponsible playboy was the Azure Knight's Awakener? He's obviously had plenty of experience piloting it, too. He must be pretty dedicated to his cause, whatever it is. Hey, get up! You can hear me, right? Take me back to Trista! Take me back to my classmates! You're wasting your time. His core was heavily damaged in the battle with the Azure Knight. Didn't I just tell you that? And despite that, he strained himself flying all the way out here afterwards. Even when he was barely hanging on, he prioritized your recovery over his own. You exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with him, you know. Damn it! somewhere in the Isengard range, on the northern side of the Nortia province. Huh. I'm surprised you were able to work that out just from a glance. I guess that's what happens when you're raised in the mountain. Hey! Where are you going?!
gotta be around here somewhere. I can sense monsters nearby too, and I need to be careful. Here 
go. Okay, it's safe for now. I wonder what's going One way to find out. If I keep going this way, I should be able to get out of the canyon. Excuse me! be thinking of leaving him there out in the open, are you? <sighs> hey, say something. Are you mad at me or something? Why would I be? You only completely disregarded and overruled my decision. <sighs> what else was I supposed to do? If we hadn't flown away when we did, you'd be dead by now. We probably would have lost Valimar, too. If anything, you should be thanking me. Forget it. Right now, I want to focus on finding the others. If I keep going this way, I should end up on the highway at some point. Sorry, but that's a huge waste of time. It's been over a month since all of that stuff happened back in Trista. A month? You can't be serious! There's no way it's been that long! <sighs> oh sure, don't believe me. Like I said, you completely exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with the Ashen Knight. And I do mean completely. There was a real chance you could have died. What? It's a miracle you were able to walk around like this a mere month later. And it's all thanks to him. He used what little mana he had left to heal you rather than himself. And just so you know, I've been here this whole time watching over you. So I really don't think I deserve all of this animosity I'm getting from you. I... This can't be. It's been a whole month since what happened near Trista. But then... What happened to the others? Hey! Wait a... Oh, for heaven's sake!
Enemy sighted. Let's take him out! Here I go! Yeah! Calming down a little, you know. <sighs> uh, you could at least respond. moving.
Get out of my way! Here I go! Yeah! My turn! They have! Here I go! Here I go! Burn to a Here I go! Sit! I need to hurry and find the others. This is stressful. Ah! Enemies in sight! Ready to go? Let's move! My turn. Second goal. Gale. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. Let's move. Sit. Too slow. I need to make up for lost time. I'd asked this before and didn't get an answer. Probably because I was bombarding you with question after question, but better late than never, I guess. Just what are you, anyway? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat, because last time I tried talking to a cat, it did not talk back. Oopsie! <laughs> totally forgot about that, didn't I? I'm what you'd call a familiar. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen clan and aid them in fulfilling their duties. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? First the Great Night legend turns out to be based on a true story, now this? I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. Well, you know what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. I'm not going to try and convince you. Well, I've got no real reason to doubt you at this point. So, do you serve Emma then? Rather, does that mean she's a witch? She's still a novice, but she is a witch, yes. My job's more to keep an eye on her though. I did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than meets the eye. Yes, we were right. But her being a witch? It's surprising. But then again, the more I think about it, the more it makes perfect sense. <laughs> hmm? What's with the goofy grin? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. Time. I need to get my strength back. Get out of 
out of my way! Let's move! Marcus, activate! Huh. My turn! Yeah! I need to hurry and find the others! <sighs> this is stressful. My way! My turn! Second go! Damn! Let's move! There! My turn! Let's move! Second go! Damn! I need to hurry and find the others! Ugh, this is stressful! Everyone at the Academy is safe and sound. Not to mention Elise, Princess Alphen, and Prince Oliver, too. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath and keep calm. I can start figuring things out once I get a little farther down. <sighs> About time. <laughs> Enemies in sight! Ready to Let's go? Move. Ha! <laughs> Let's move! Ha! Here I go! Burn to ass! <laughs> I need to hurry and find the others. Enemies in sight! Ready to Here go! Here I go! Here I go! Burn to ash! Let's move! I need to hurry and find the others! This is stressful. knew it! I've been here before! Master Kafai brought me here as part of my training. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. His full name's Master Yun Kafai, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Man, when was the last time I came here? Must have been... I don't know, five years ago. In fact, if I remember right, my hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Oh, no, 
Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. Wanna head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah? As soon as we get to Ymir, I wanna try and gather information on what's been going on. What was that? It feels like it's coming closer! It couldn't be! Night. You know what that thing is? They're magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong! Damn it, what's one doing here? Ugh, we need to get out of here, now! You don't stand a chance against it on your own! Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable. Bring it on! Let's move! Huh. My turn! Barely putting a dent into it. Ugh. We're so close to Ymir, too. I told you this would happen. Get back. <laughs> Celine. <laughs> Not here. Not without seeing everyone again. Elisa. Not today, buddy! Uh, are those marks? Yeah, where? See you later. Cross Crusade! Who did 
that. Reen! Reen! <gasps> Whew! Made it without a second to spare. Good to see you're still in one piece. I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness? And Toval? And... Rain, stay right there! Please, tell me you're alright. You look so exhausted. Who's she? Elise? It's really you. I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Rain, please! There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. I'm just so glad you're all right. But how did you know I was here? As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Dost thou desire the power?
Where am I now? Celine, this looks just like my room. I knew it. I'm back in Ymir. I'm finally back home. My memories are kind of hazy now, but I think that means everything that happened in the mountains. <sighs> Why'd it get so cold all of a sudden? Oh, you finally woke up? Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? Hmm, I guess. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake. Elise! Um, good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? You're awake! You don't know how scared I was! There was all the chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you! We had no idea where you were! I'm just so... so relieved! I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Elise. <laughs> no. No, you don't need to apologize. Somewhere out there, you were all right, and that you'd come back safe. Welcome home, Reen. It's good to be back. And thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter pated as ever. P pardon? Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, your highness? I'm really not dreaming then. Oh, you're so silly, Reen. I would have thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Y your highness, please! <laughs> Well, I'm just glad you're up. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> You're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Aww. I see you're finally up. Dad! Mom! Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind. First and foremost is getting you something to eat. We can discuss what to do from here on out after that.
You've come to thank me for saving your butt again? Save it. I'm just glad I made it in time. Princess Alfin and that sister of yours are the ones you should be talking to. You were on their minds this whole time. Yeah, I can tell. I really do appreciate you coming for me, though. I was pretty far out from town, so I didn't think anyone would find me. Just goes to show what bracers can do, I guess. About that. I wasn't actually the one who found you. You weren't? Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you, then they just hung up. Didn't even say who they were. I figured it couldn't hurt to go take a look, and sure enough, there you were. Hmm, that's strange. I wonder who it was. Wish I could tell you. I couldn't even recognize their voice. Hmm. Nah, that's not really true. It was kind of familiar. Maybe. Eh, whatever. No use dwelling on it. Right now we've got bigger problems to tackle than mystery callers. There's the war, for starters. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Have you and the rest of the guild been doing much? Well, we've been trying. We're pretty limited on what we can do. Partly because we've all been split up since the war broke out. I don't even know if any of the others in Erebonia are okay. Sarah included. It sounds like things have gotten even more serious since I was away. Sure has. Not even regular civilians have been able to escape being affected by it. As it stands, the Noble Alliance has the overwhelming advantage. But the Imperial Army showing no signs of surrendering to them particularly in a few regions across the country. I see. Oh, and another thing you might hear. We've been getting reports of a few Jaeger Corps taking part in the war too. Even members of Ouroboros. Ouroboros? That secret society? That's the one. Jaegers being employed here in Erebonia is nothing new, but there's way more of them here these days. As for Ouroboros, they're probably just trying to stir up trouble of their own. 
It's what they do best. Then there's the fact that Erebonia isn't the only place with problems right now. Crossbell's full of them too. There's so much to freak out about these days, it can drive you insane. Sorry, you've got enough on your plate without me dumping all this on you, huh? Try saving all those bad thoughts you got piling up for another day, okay? You need to focus on relaxing. You can decide what you want to do after that. Um, sure. Thanks, Toval. You're probably right. You're just a fountain of good advice, huh? <laughs> I've just got a few years worth of life experience on you, that's all. Oh, and while I'm giving you good advice, why not take a dip in the hot springs? Could be a nice way to clear your head. <laughs> it probably would. Hasn't let me down before. Maybe I should pay a visit to the Phoenix Wings later.
Okay, let's give this a try. <laughs> well, how about that? so intently. Thinking about it, she must be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen! <laughs> You're looking rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? I'm guessing life in a tiny village like this is harder than you're used to. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are all so soothing. To say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking, I'm having the time of my life here. I almost envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Still... On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. Oh, and meet a mysterious talking cat, too. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that ashen knight of yours, however. 
Perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Um, well... I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be royalty. I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this, but I... Just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear. Cedric and I, we had a fight on the morning it all happened. I was planning to make up with him that evening, but... I... I... I'm sure he won't hold that against you. You'll be able to make up with him next time you see him. I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. In the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from them isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I... <sighs> Thank you. I'm fine now. Um, I, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Then again, she did seem more shaken up than usual. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. But that's not exactly what I meant. Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. You're just making me wish you were my brother all the more! Why? Here you are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some warm milk. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. The steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Ymir a comfortable one. Celine saved my life? And when exactly did this happen? I told her nothing of the sort! 
I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I say. Um, is something the matter? Nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? N nothing Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you. Oh. Thinking back on it, didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? Better not have been who I think it is. Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know? I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you! She could have... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. It didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should have done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about it, too. You're sorry? You... Uh, um... I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate to ask. It's okay, really. And, um, sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? Well, she does genuinely seem to regret what she did, and at least didn't come to any harm. I guess I'll let her off this time. <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. <sighs> Compared to her, I'm...